Hi everybody, it's time for the July Pick a Stick Challenge and there are six steps, two suggested colors, green, gold, and amber, and two wild cards so that if you don't like these steps, you can pick from the wild cards. So the first step is tissue and that's what I'm going to start with. It's a uh, green gold is the color, so I'm going to find, I've got this journal that's got some pages done and some not and some with just you know paint on them and there's kind of a green gold so I think I'm set with that let me grab a bulldog clamp here so I can hold my page open and tissue paper I've got I've got some tissue paper here and I think I think this will work. Um, get a brush, and I just want to want to tear this down. So I'm going to wet it first along this edge here, because I don't want that straight edge on there. But by wetting it, I can easily. Get that jagged edge that I'm looking for. And I can see already that this green gold is a spray ink because it's coming up. So I'm going to use some, uh, some kind of medium on there to seal that in. But let me get another strip going of this tissue. See how that green is coming right through there? I want to put some of this down. So I'm going to get some uh, let's see, it's Jessa. I need a little bit of here's a gel medium. And I need a glue brush. And the old glue brush will do. Sounds beat up pretty good. So let me wet my brush and start applying some gel medium. And I'm just going to get that on the page because I want to seal that spray ink in. And you can see I've got some of that green on here, so I'm going to wipe that off before I go back. Oops before I go back in the gel medium because I don't really want that contaminating everything. I see I got a little bit on there anyway. So to fix that I'm just going to grab a palette knife and pull that out. And I need something between the pages. So I have my plastic here. And actually, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut that down. So it's a lot bigger than I really need.
Okay, step two says dash, and it's got dash marks after it. And so I looked at this stencil. I believe this is a Patty Parrish. Yes, this is from uh, 2016. It's an exclusive one, 8 by 10 from Patty Parrish. And these, you can snip the little pieces and take these out and use them as masks. Or you can leave it in there. And for right now, I'm going to leave it in there. And you see these? This, to me, looks like a dash. And I have some yellow ochre, which looks very much like the amber color that we're looking for. So I'm going to use that on here. And so I'm just going to put a little bit out on my tabletop. And I'm going to stencil that. worked into my brush and here we go I have that square May come back and do something on those later. We'll see. That's two. One up here. So that's four. So I think I need a piece over here for a little balance and continuity. Put that in there. That's number five. All right. So I can take my rag and clean that up and dry it, and I'll be ready to roll again. So step three says draw. I chose not to do that. And I chose to go big. So I had these giant uh, stickers from the dollar store. Um, they're kind of like succulents. I guess I got succulents on the brain right now. We're going to do uh, some cactus or prickly things next week. So. Um, I went big and I used those stickers on my page. So that's what I did for draw. And then number four says washi. So I need to grab some washi tape. Um, what have I got out here? Just got some random stuff. I've got. Uh, Oh, this is good. This is some Tim Holtz uh, tissue. So I'll just run a piece of that. That's one. Probably put one up here somewhere. Like so. Okay, that's washi number four. So we've done tissue, dash, washi, and big. 
Next thing says abstract. Well, this whole thing's pretty abstract. But uh, what have I got? I've got these little got these little rub-ons. They're just abstract and it's got great or emboss so I'm gonna do emboss okay so I'm going to emboss using some um, embossing ink this is a Ranger product that comes in a little dauber and I'm also using some allure uh, metal I'll have to put the link down below. This is a product from Emerald Creek, and it's, you know, some of those chunky style embossing powders that they offer, but um, this has a metallic silver color to it, so uh, it's really a pretty color, but I'm going to put it in a couple of places because I have that washi tape in a couple of places, and I'm just going to heat set that. Um, that's the last step in our pick a stick challenge if you're not familiar with pick a stick and you're on facebook check us out uh, we are a challenge group for journaling artists and um, we'd love to have you join us and be sure and check out the other artists you can use the hashtag p a s c Let's see, this is for July. That'd be 0718, P-A-S-C 0718. So that's it for me today. I'll give you the final shots. Bye, guys.